Hey everybody, how you doing? How's it going? I hope the sun is shining wherever you are today. I know it has been a while. Of course, life got in the way. I got under the weather a bit there, but I'm here to share some more of our toys because we definitely have picked up so many in the last month since I have been here. So why don't you join us while we go look at our first piece today? Alrighty guys, well the first piece we're going to look at is a piece that I actually had in my collection already. However, I had sent it flying to the ground and I had destroyed the packaging so it is now time for us to get that open and get it on display. So we are definitely going to take a peek at our Masters of the Universe classic set of Molar and Skeletor. Alrighty, so I broke the box um, very, very bad. Um, it didn't fall that far. However, it is not a piece that is hard to find per se, and I can definitely find another mint condition one of these, uh, no problem. So I figured why not get the uh, figures out of the box, and then we have more Skeletors to play with and more things to do. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. We'll see you in a minute. So if you've never had one of these boxes before, uh, these ones are really easy to open. They're actually taped at the top. Um, as opposed to having to break everything. Now you will need a knife when we do get to the cardboard pieces. Uh, however, if you're like me, I just rip things right out of the cardboard. So it's not uh, that big of a deal. Uh, I have no intentions of saving the packaging on this one because of course it is already damaged. So I don't care what happens going forward. Okay, so I've not removed everything from the plastic, but not the cardboard quite yet. And here's why. Because I just want to show you kind of how it is set up in the plastic to make it look like Skeletor is actually on the dentist chair. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I am going to attempt to save the plastic and the cardboard for this one because I think it would be a fun picture to grab uh, for my Instagram page. Speaking of Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to go and check it out. I do so much things such as toy photography, we do toy hunts, and of course we are now starting to do more cosplay this year because it is something that I miss doing and I feel like we should do the things that we love. You only have one life to live, right? So, but yep, there's that guy. So pretty dang cool. Um, secured in there with just elastics and tape by the looks of it. So this shall be easy. Um, you do see that it comes with some accessories now one of the pieces has fallen out somewhere um the piece that holds the tooth but let me get that out of the packaging and then we'll look closer at it okay so the nice thing about this is absolutely everything is attached with the plastic elastic so this will make this much easier for us to save of course so that i can use it for other items now i have gotten to the power staff or sorry let's call it the havoc staff because skeletor has the havoc staff, and it is quite large um so if i compare this to say my origins figures or even another skeletor this is a very large staff so who knows let's see what happens and of course we have our two swords um, most of them collect, connect together and this one is the exact same. So these two actually create one. So that's very neat. The one thing I love about this cardboard that you can't really see is that there's a little magazine here and it has the sorceress on it. Quite cute. Um, it says Explorer is the name of the magazine. Now I don't know if that is supposed to be an adult magazine or maybe it was a magazine for the dentist office but who knows um if you guys have seen these before they're actually from robot chicken um one of my favorite shows while i was a teenager i used to stay up late to watch it all the time regardless of what i had to do the next day but this is the scene from it and i'm very excited to recreate it because i am actually starting with stop motion and this is one of the scenes i'm going to attempt to create as one of my first short films so stay tuned to my instagram so you can see that of course i will post it here once i have it done however i find i share more tidbits of my life and that kind of stuff on instagram so i will put that in the link you're more than welcome to follow me um we welcome everybody on our page so this one's a little tougher um without damaging anything you gotta be very careful to take these elastics on now the nice thing is they're literally using two per figure um so it's just trying to get them out of the pieces without um wrecking the plastic that i want to keep 
So you'll have to forgive me if my voice sounds weird today. Um, I have just literally gotten over one of the worst colds I've ever had in my life. Um, I had lost my voice and was coughing for about six days straight there. Uh, so I'm still slightly recovering. However, I feel great today. So I'm here doing this channel um, business instead of laying in bed. So that's nice. So one of the other accessories fell out and I really wanted this because I love this accessory. So of course, it's just them pulling the teeth. Very cool. I love the classic figures. The classic figures have the best things. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer the classics over Revelations, but now, right, right now I'm having a hard time with classics over the vintage because I absolutely love Squeeze vintage and I absolutely love him as the classic. So I can't, I can't really decide which line is better right now, but I'm going to dig into my classics. So who cares about the origins and such right now, right? So, but one piece left to come out. Um, he's very tricky. You want to be very careful not to bend anything uh, as you're removing him from the package. Let's go here. They have it wrapped around his neck. And I just send his head spinning. So, um, all right, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Bear with me. It's the last one. And of course, it has to be stuck around the ankle joints, right? So, all right. So I have the figures out. I just need to grab the last little accessories here. And then I am going to wait until later before I try to fix this up so I can use this scenery going forward. All right, everything is out of the box. So let's take a peek. I have our accessories that go with it. Of course, you had seen the tooth being pulled here. We have our little dental mirror. Very cool. It would have been cool if they actually mirrorized that. And of course, our little water pick. So that's for our accessories. We also have a dental floss with floss actually coming out of here. Amazing. So cool. So that's it for our dentist guy. And of course, or let's call him Molar because that's his name. He's got your standard um, action figure movement uh, with your joints and all that stuff. Uh, so we're not even going to go through that. If you've seen one classic, you've seen how they're all designed. Most action figures are the same these days. And of course, that went for the 80s and the 90s as well. They go with the times, people. So they're all the same. Uh, and then, of course, we have Skeletor. So I like this version of Skeletor. I really like the brightness in his face. It's very vibrant. His purple looks a little dull and so does his blue, but that's okay. I guess I would look kind of shitty too if I was having my teeth removed at the dentist, right? So, but very cool. Uh, same idea with the movements. Of course, we have peg holes in the bottom should you want to use the stand. Um, I find these guys are top heavy still regardless. You have to really mess around with them to stand them up. But otherwise, they're very cool figures. So there's just a look at Molar and Skeletor together from the Masters of the Universe Classics line. And of course, if you haven't seen the Robot Chicken episode, I implore you go and watch it. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for stopping by on our quick little visit as we opened up some shit that fell off the shelf. <laughs> I hope you have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll see you so very, very soon. Thanks so much and don't forget to like this video and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We will see you so soon. Take care of yourselves and of course, love each other and share your toys.